In this video, we are going to be converting a coffee table into a farmhouse bench. And I just wanted to show you this table for an example. So you can kind of see how these legs are. Um, and it's a real nice solid wood table. And usually when I'm out on my rounds, if I'm going to Goodwill, Salvation Armies, yard sales, etc., I'm looking for tables that have a solid wood top. And and this is one of those tables you can see it's nice thick solid wood top so i'm not really looking for a table as much as i am looking for wood and um but on this particular dining table um i actually repurposed the leaf for this that came with it so we don't have the leaf anymore so now this is a fixed size dining table if it even stays a dining table but the distance between those legs is 52 inches so um, so I'm just going to show you what we're going to do out here. So I was at Goodwill, uh, this has been quite a while back, and they had this coffee table. Now it wasn't in particularly good shape, but what it does have is oak. It's all oak, that big giant piece of oak there. And for $10, you couldn't hardly beat it. So, uh, and, and everything is oak on this thing. So this is... That uh, frame there is called the apron, and that is all oak, as you can see. And so we are going to go ahead and uh, convert this coffee table, which I do a lot of coffee table conversions into benches, um, just because it's easy and um, doesn't take very long. And you can see here it's basically 44 inches so what we're gonna do is we're gonna not use the top i'm gonna use the top for another project that's why i bought this i bought it for that big piece of wood for uh, i gotta make a sign and uh you know you cannot buy even pine uh let alone oak uh you could not buy that big a board laminated up for ten dollars for ten dollars so we're going to be reusing uh the rest of the coffee table to make our farmhouse bench but if you look at these legs you can see they're very similar to our table in there in terms of style so this bench would go real good with that table put a couple of chairs on the other side boom you've got yourself a whole nice little table and bench set um and ultimately that might be what we do i don't know um so, but what I wanted to show you was converting the coffee table. So we've seen that the frame itself is about 44 inches. We're gonna make the top out of one two by eight. And now that dimensional lumber has come down, um, this has uh, become a lot more affordable to do. So we're just gonna take our two by eight, eight footer, cut it in half. That of course will give us four feet. And this is seven and a quarter inches. So a, a two by eight is seven and a quarter. So two of them will be uh, 14 and a half, okay? Which is perfect for a bench. That's exactly what we want. But this distance here on our coffee table, you can see it's, what, 20 inches. So it's too wide. So if our bench top is gonna be 14 and a half, I'm gonna make this probably 13 to be safe so um that'll give us about three quarters of an inch overhang front and back left and right it's going to have about oh an inch inch and a, or inch and a half to two inches on left and right but front to back is going to have about three quarters of an inch overhang but this is 20 you see that is currently 20 and we need that to be 13 so what that means is these side pieces here we need to cut seven inches off of one end so you can see where these corner braces come into place they're in that little slit there so we're going to take we're going to take these two screws out and these two screws out and totally take our side aprons off we're going to cut seven inches off and then we have to remake that slit um with our table saw that's about the 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 kerf of our table saw blade so we, we're gonna have to uh, set our table saw to that depth and make us a slit you know the same distance from here to to the slit 
and the same depth, but seven inches back. So we can reuse this. We're just gonna push it back here. And so this way from front to back will become 13 inches. And then we just put our legs back on and put our uh, table boards on uh, for our bench top. And that's it. So it's pretty straightforward stuff. Um, so you can see that the, the original table had pocket holes, little bitty pocket holes um, that held the apron to our bench top. So that's gonna be really easy. Um, so what I'm gonna do is let's go ahead, take this apart and then cut those pieces back and then we got to cut that slit in here. And I'm going to show you uh, after I get done doing all of that, uh, kind of what it looks like and how we're going to put all this back together again. All right, so you can see that we've removed those four screws on that side and those four screws on that side. They came out incredibly easy. And so now you can see that we have our two apron pieces here okay and so all we have to do is cut off from one end come back seven inches and that will be uh, our new side apron length and then we have to put this slit in here so you can see our bracket for our leg can can fit back in there so we'll do that you could if you didn't have a table saw you could definitely make that same slit with a handheld skill saw um, so you, you don't have to have a table saw. In fact, I might just do it with my handheld skill saw, um, because my table saw is covered up. So I might just go ahead and do it with my handheld skill saw. It'd be just as easy for this little project. Okay. So let me go ahead and get these cut back down to seven inches, take seven inches off, and then we'll mark out our line for our new slit. I'll show you how that works. All right, so you can see I have in fact measured back seven inches from this end. That's where we're gonna cut. And I measured this from here to here is an inch and a half, okay? Got me a new toy. Um, these are the new Craig uh, project blocks. I think this is fairly um, new to the market um, I've seen them demonstrated all over the internet of course and and they're actually quite um, for 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 this exact purpose that they'll be great so they have kind of a uh, rubberized um, coating on them but the purpose here obviously uh, because we're going to be doing a cut our purpose here is so we don't cut through our tabletop and I'm and I do have a miter saw undercover right there, but um, but for this purpose, it's a it's a simple task. It's a simple little job we're doing. So I'm just going to use my handheld cordless saw and cut those in half. But this will hold it up enough where I uh, won't be cutting through my tabletop, even when I have my handheld skill saw at its maximum cut depth. Okay. So that's what we're gonna do first. We're gonna go ahead and cut these um, where we need to be cut. And then uh, as far as the length, and then we're gonna readjust our saw to the depth of our slit. Mark that and um, make that extra slit. All right, so I have an update for you. I'm a little bit bummed about, it's not a huge deal. But what I found out was Okay, these are inch and a half, first of all, these, these, these dogs. Um, and they're not quite high enough to have this set at full depth and cut this material. So I had to lower the depth of my saw blade just a little bit, otherwise I would cut into my table. Again, not a huge deal, but, um, you know, it is what it is. The main purpose I bought these for, I thought they'd be useful when I'm doing routing because it would hold the the piece I'm, I'm, I'm routing in place. Um, and uh, I thought that would be helpful. I just knocked my saw down. 
Now, um, so what you can see here, what I've done on my saw, um, I've just set my my depth of my saw blade is only going to cut that much, um, which is three eighths of an inch. Is what I determined that little, and you can see over here what it did. So we cut seven inches off. That cut three eighths of an inch deep, which is the same depth as here, and our bracket slid in there perfectly, no issues. Okay, and then additionally, you could see that now front to back our frame is at the 13 inches we need. So we did all that correctly. So what we're gonna do is let's go ahead and cut that block, put, cut the slit in that block. I'm gonna put this back together, put the legs on it, and we'll show you what the com completed frame ultimately looks like. So as you can see, we took our two by eight, cut it in half and we still have to attach it to the base, but I'm gonna I'm, I'm gonna wait to uh, see if I'm gonna paint the base or what I'm gonna do. But you can basically see that um, is our complete effect. And it basically, you know, it's a very simple conversion. And just as a side note, there's a few things I didn't point out. First of all, um, double check the height of your coffee tables when you buy them. Most coffee tables will work for this conversion process. Um, these legs, if I didn't mention it earlier, were 16 and a half inches. And so we added an inch and a half uh, to that 16 and a half. So um, that gave us um, exactly 18. And interestingly enough, that's exactly the height of a, of a standard dining chair from floor to seat is 18 inches. Dining tables are typically 30 inches tall, standard dining table height. And so it's always 12 inches difference is for an adult, uh, from the height of the table to your seat height is, is typically 12 in, 10 to 12 inches, but 12 inches is kind of the industry standard. So if you think about it, uh, if you have a 36 inch countertop, what size bar stool is you looking for? 12 inches smaller, 24 inches, right? And, and that's why you see bar stools that are typically uh, 24 inches and 30 inches. Well, where does the 30 inch come into play? Well, a typical pub height table is exactly 12 inches taller than 30, which is 42. So anyhow, that's where that 12 inch uh, comes into play. But, and, and, and like I say, the nice thing about this particular bench is the leg style is very similar to our dining table that I just showed you over there. So if, if it was all painted the same, it would kind of all go together. And the nice thing about this bench, because we have 52 inches from leg to leg on our dining table, this is only 48 inches. So it will slide up underneath the dining table uh, if, if the customer you know, had a desire to have that done. So real simple. So I'll be, I'll, I'm gonna wait, I'm gonna post this just as it is, post it first. And then if somebody wants it, great. Just the way it is, they can finish it off themselves. And then if they um, they want us to finish it off, then we can certainly do that. But I'll probably stain the top and paint the bottom. So no, no point in uh, putting the top on just yet. And of course, to put the top on, what I'm going to do is reuse the existing screws locations um, that we already had for this uh, coffee table top. And then I might put in a couple of uh, support boards just to hold these two boards together. Now I could use pocket holes and put those two boards together uh, if I wanted to do it that way and then mount it as kind of one piece. But if I don't have to drill pocket holes, I don't, I don't drill pocket holes. And in this particular instance, I don't think it's gonna be necessary at all. But we got a good looking bench, nice, solid, sturdy bench, you know, with those big oak legs and I tightened it all down real nice. So you can see here, it just totally looks like that was factory original, you know? So, and, and obviously you saw us cut it all down, but you can see that that apron works great. Something else to keep in mind too, is, you know, dining tables are essentially set up the same way. And so I've chopped up a lot of big dining tables to smaller, uh, two-seater tables 
um, just because I have found oddly that the smaller dining tables sell quicker for some reason uh, for the same amount of money and and I think it's just because um, when you when you take a big table and cut it down to a little table there's not a lot of little tables that look like the bigger tables um, but there's a lot of need for the smaller tables for apartments and, and so forth that people don't really necessarily need that big table so when I when I when I get tables I cut them down uh, quite often so there it is there's the finished product I think it turned out pretty good thanks for watching guys